Many languages are spoken, or historically have been spoken, in the United States. Today over 350 languages are used by the U.S. population. The most commonly used language is English specifically, American English, which is the de facto national language of the United States. Since the 1965 Immigration Act, Spanish is the second most common language in the country. The United States does not have an official language, but 32 state governments out of 50 have declared English to be one, or the only, official language. The government of Louisiana offers services and most documents in both English and French, as does New Mexico in English and Spanish. The government of Puerto Rico, a U.S. territory, operates almost entirely in Spanish, even though its official languages are Spanish and English. There are many languages indigenous to North America or to U.S. states or holdings in the Pacific region. Hawaiian, although having few native speakers, is an official language along with English of the state of Hawaii. Alaska officializes English and 20 native languages. According to the 2016 American Community Survey, a project of the United States Census Bureau, the languages spoken at home by the most people older than five years of age are English only 229.7 million Spanish 40.5 million Chinese including Mandarin and Cantonese 3.4 million Tagalog including Filipino 1.7 million Vietnamese 1.5 million Arabic 1.2 million French 1.2 million Korean 1.1 million Russian 0.91 million German 0.91 million Haitian Creole 0.86 million Hindi 0.81 million Portuguese 0.77 million Italian 0.58 million Polish 0.54 million Urdu 0.47 million Japanese 0.46 million Persian including Farsi and Dari 0.44 million Gujarati 0.41 million Telugu 0.37 million Bengali 0.32 million Thai Kadai including Thai and Lao 0.31 million Greek 0.29 million Punjabi 0.29 million Tamil 0.27 million Armenian 0.24 million Serbo-Croatian including Bosnian, Croatian, Montenegrin, and Serbian 0.24 million Hebrew 0.23 million Hmong 0.22 million Bantu including Swahili 0.22 million Khmer 0.20 million Navajo 0.16 million While modern estimates indicate that American Sign Language was signed by as many as 500,000 Americans, as of 1972 the last official survey, closer estimates range around 100,000 as of 2011. Although various cultural factors, such as passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act, have resulted in far greater educational opportunities for deaf children, which could double or triple the number of current ASL users. Topic. Official language status There is no official language at the U.S. federal level. However, 32 states of the United States, in some cases as part of what has been called the English-only movement, have adopted legislation granting official status to English. Out of 50 states, 30 have established English as the only official language, while Hawaii recognizes both English and Hawaiian as official, and Alaska has made some 20 native languages official, along with English. Moreover, English is one of the official languages in all of the U.S. territories. In Puerto Rico both English and Spanish are official, although Spanish has been declared the principal official language. The school system and the government operate almost entirely in Spanish. Guam recognizes English and Chamorro. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, English is the only official language. In American Samoa, both English and Samoan are officially recognized. In the Northern Mariana Islands, English, Chamorro, and Carolinian are official. The state of Alaska provides voting information in Inupiaq, Central Yupik, Gwich'an, Siberian Yupik, Koyukon, and Tagalog, as well as English. English is the primary language used for legislation, regulations, executive orders, treaties, federal court rulings, and all other official pronouncements. 
Nonetheless, laws require documents such as ballots to be printed in multiple languages when there are large numbers of non-English speakers in an area. American schools, public as well as private, require English classes at every grade level, even in bilingual or dual-language learning situations. Semesters of English composition are compulsory in virtually all U.S. colleges and universities to satisfy requirements for associates and bachelor's degrees. Spanish is spoken by approximately 35 million people. The United States has the world's fifth largest Spanish speaking population, outnumbered only by Mexico, Colombia, Spain, and Argentina. Other estimates put the United States at over 50 million, second only to Mexico. Throughout the southwestern United States, long-established Spanish-speaking communities coexist with large numbers of more recent Hispanophone immigrants. Although many new Latin American immigrants are less than fluent in English, nearly all second-generation Hispanic Americans speak English fluently, while only about half still speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Status of other languages Languages brought to the country by colonists or immigrants from Europe, Asia, or other parts of the world make up a large portion of the languages currently used. Several languages, including creoles and sign languages, have also developed in the United States. Approximately 430 languages are spoken or signed by the population, of which 176 are indigenous to the area. Fifty-two languages formerly spoken in the country's territory are now extinct. According to the 2000 U.S. Census, people of German ancestry make up the largest single ethnic group in the United States, and the German language ranks fifth. Italian, Polish, and French are still widely spoken among populations descending from immigrants from those countries in the early 20th century, but the use of these languages is dwindling as the older generations die. Russian is also spoken by immigrant populations. Tagalog and Vietnamese have over one million speakers each in the United States, almost entirely within recent immigrant populations. Both languages, along with the varieties of Chinese mostly Cantonese, Taishanese, and Standard Mandarin, Japanese, and Korean, are now used in elections in Alaska, California, Hawaii, Illinois, New York, Texas, and Washington. Native American languages are spoken in smaller pockets of the country, but these populations are decreasing, and the languages are almost never widely used outside of reservations. Besides English, Spanish, French, German, Navajo and other Native American languages, all other languages are usually learned from immigrant ancestors that came after the time of independence or learned through some form of education. American Sign Language is the most common sign language in the United States although there are unrelated sign languages which have been developed in the states and its territories—mostly in the Pacific. No concrete numbers exist for signers but something upwards of 250,000 is common. California has agreed to allow the publication of state documents in other languages to represent minority groups and immigrant communities. Languages such as Spanish, Chinese, Korean, Tagalog, Persian, Russian, Vietnamese, and Thai appear in official state documents, and the Department of Motor Vehicles publishes in nine languages. In New Mexico, although the state constitution does not specify an official language, laws are published in English and Spanish, and government materials and services are legally required by act to be made accessible to speakers of both languages as well as Navajo and various Pueblo languages. New Mexico also has its own dialect of Spanish, which differs from Spanish spoken in the rest of Latin America. Native American languages are official or co-official on many of the U.S. Indian reservations and pueblos. In Oklahoma before statehood in 1907, territory officials debated whether or not to have Cherokee, Choctaw, and Muscogee languages as co-official, but the idea never gained ground. Cherokee is officially recognized by the Cherokee Nation within the Cherokee Tribal Jurisdiction Area in eastern Oklahoma, after New Amsterdam formerly a Dutch colony was transferred to English administration becoming the province of New York in the late 17th century, English supplanted Dutch as the official language. However, Dutch remained the primary language for many civil and ecclesiastical functions and most private affairs for the next century. The Jersey Dutch dialect is now extinct. The issue of multilingualism also applies in the states of Arizona and Texas. While the Constitution of Texas has no official language policy, Arizona passed a proposition in 2006 declaring English as the official language. 
Nonetheless, Arizona law requires the distribution of voting ballots in Spanish, as well as indigenous languages such as Navajo, Oadam, and Hopi, in counties where they are spoken. In 2000, the Census Bureau printed the standard census questionnaires in six languages English, Spanish, Korean, Chinese in traditional characters, Vietnamese, and Tagalog. A popular urban legend called the Muhlenberg Legend claims that German was almost made an official language of the United States but lost by one vote. In reality, it was a request by a group of German immigrants to have an official translation of laws into German. House Speaker Frederick Muhlenberg has since become associated with the legend. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Indigenous languages. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Native American languages. Native American languages predate European settlement of the New World. In a few parts of the U.S. mostly on Indian reservations, they continue to be spoken fluently. Most of these languages are endangered, although there are efforts to revive them. Normally the fewer the speakers of a language the greater the degree of endangerment, but there are many small Native American language communities in the Southwest Arizona and New Mexico which continue to thrive despite their small size. In 1929, speaking of indigenous Native American languages, linguist Edward Sapper observed, Few people realize that within the confines of the United States there is spoken today a far greater variety of languages than in the whole of Europe. We may go further. We may say, quite literally and safely, that in the state of California alone there are greater and more numerous linguistic extremes than can be illustrated in all the length and breadth of Europe. According to the 2000 census and other language surveys, the largest Native American language speaking community by far is the Navajo. Navajo is an Athabascan language of the Na Dene family, with 178,000 speakers, primarily in the states of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. Altogether, Navajo speakers make up more than 50% of all Native American language speakers in the United States. Western Apache, with 12,500 speakers, also mostly in Arizona, is closely related to Navajo but not mutually intelligible with it. Navajo and other Athabascan languages in the Southwest are relative outliers, most other Athabascan languages are spoken in the Pacific Northwest and Alaska. Dakota is a Siouan language with 18,000 speakers in the U.S. alone 22,000 including speakers in Canada, not counting 6,000 speakers of the closely related Lakota. Most speakers live in the states of North Dakota and South Dakota. Other Siouan languages include the closely related Winnebago, and the more distant Crow, among others. Central Alaskan Yupik is an Eskimo Aleut language with 16,000 speakers, most of whom live in Alaska. The term, Yupik, is applied to its relatives, which are not necessarily mutually intelligible with Central Alaskan, including Naukon and Central Siberian, among others. Cherokee belongs to the Iroquoian family and has about 22,000 speakers as of 2005. The Cherokee have the largest tribal affiliation in the U.S., but most are of mixed ancestry and do not speak the language. Recent efforts to preserve and increase the Cherokee language in the Cherokee Nation and the United Kituwa Band in Oklahoma, and among the Eastern Band in North Carolina, have been productive. More than 1,000 people each also speak the related languages of Mohawk and Seneca. The Oadam language, spoken by the Pima and the Tohono Oadam, is a Uto Aztecan language with more than 12,000 speakers, most of whom live in central and southern Arizona and northern Sonora. Other Uto Aztecan languages include Hopi, Shoshone, and the Paiute languages. Choctaw has 11,000 speakers. Choctaw is part of the Muscogean family, like Seminole and Alabama. The Algonquian language family includes languages like Chippewa, Ojibwe, Cheyenne, and Cree. Karis has 11,000 speakers in New Mexico. A language isolate, the Karis are the largest of the Pueblo nations. The Karis Pueblo of Acoma is the oldest continually inhabited community in the United States. Zuni, another isolate, has around 10,000 speakers, most of whom reside within the Zuni Pueblo. Although the languages of the Americas have a history stretching back about 17,000 to 12,000 years, current knowledge of them is limited. There are doubtless a number of undocumented languages that were once spoken in the United States that are missing from historical record. Topic. List of Native American languages 
Below is an estimate of Native American languages spoken at home in the United States American Community Survey 2006 to 2008. This is not an exhaustive list of Native American languages in the U.S. Because the distinction between dialect and language isn't always clear, multiple dialects of varying mutual intelligibility may be classified as a single language, while a group of effectively identical dialects may be classified separately for historical or cultural reasons. Languages included here may be classified as extinct, having no living native speakers, but many extinct or moribund Native American languages are the subjects of ongoing language revitalization efforts. Other extinct languages undergoing revitalization might not be listed here. Topic: <laughs> Native American Sign Languages. A sign language trade pidgin, known as Plains Indian Sign Language, Plains Standard or Plains Sign Talk, arose among the Native Americans of the Plains. Each signing nation had a separate signed version of their oral language, that was used by the hearing, and these were not mutually intelligible. Plains Standard was used to communicate between these nations. It seems to have started in Texas and then spread north, through the Great Plains, as far as British Columbia. There are still a few users today, especially among the Crow, Cheyenne, and Arapaho. Unlike other sign languages developed by hearing people, it shares the spatial grammar of deaf sign languages. Through intergenerational transmission, plain sign talk became a working language still in use today in some deaf First Nations or Native American communities. As Plains Sign Talk was so widespread and was a spectrum of dialects and accents, it probably hosted several languages under its umbrella. One is potentially Navajo Sign Language which is in use by a sole Navajo clan. Additionally, Plateau Sign Language existed alongside Plains Sign Talk as either a trade pigeon or another language around the Columbia Plateau and surrounding regions. Austronesian languages Hawaiian Hawaiian is an official state language of Hawaii as prescribed in the Constitution of Hawaii. Hawaiian has 1,000 native speakers. Formerly considered critically endangered, Hawaiian is showing signs of language renaissance. The recent trend is based on new Hawaiian language immersion programs of the Hawaii State Department of Education and the University of Hawaii, as well as efforts by the Hawaii State Legislature and county governments to preserve Hawaiian place names. In 1993, about 8,000 could speak and understand it, today estimates range up to 27,000. Hawaiian is related to the Maori language spoken by around 150,000 New Zealanders and Cook Islanders as well as the Tahitian language which is spoken by another 120,000 people of Tahiti. Topic. Samoan Samoan is an official territorial language of American Samoa. Samoans make up 90% of the population, and most people are bilingual. Topic. Chamorro Chamorro is co-official in the Mariana Islands, both in the territory of Guam and in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. In Guam, the indigenous Chamorro people make up about 60% of the population. Topic. Carolinian Carolinian is also co-official in the Northern Marianas, where only 14% of people speak English at home. Topic. Main languages Some of the first European languages to be spoken in the U.S. are English, Dutch, French, Spanish, and Swedish. From the mid-19th century on, the nation had large numbers of immigrants who spoke little or no English, and throughout the country state laws, constitutions, and legislative proceedings appeared in the languages of politically important immigrant groups. There have been bilingual schools and local newspapers in such languages as German, Ukrainian, Hungarian, Irish, Italian, Norwegian, Greek, Polish, Swedish, Romanian, Cherokee, Czech, Japanese, Yiddish, Hebrew, Lithuanian, Welsh, Cantonese, Bulgarian, Dutch, Portuguese and others, despite opposing English-only laws that, for example, illegalized church services, telephone conversations, and even conversations in the street or on railway platforms in any language other than English, until the first of these laws was ruled unconstitutional in 1923 Meyer v. Nebraska. 
Currently, Asian languages account for the majority of languages spoken in immigrant communities, Korean, the varieties of Chinese, and various Indian or South Asian languages like Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi, Kannada, Gujarati, Marathi, Bengali, Telugu, Tamil and Malayalam, as well as Arabic, Vietnamese, Tagalog, Persian, and others. Typically, immigrant languages tend to be lost through assimilation within two or three generations, though there are some groups such as the Cajuns French, Pennsylvania Dutch German in a state where large numbers of people were heard to speak it before the 1950s, and the original settlers of the Southwest Spanish who have maintained their languages for centuries. English English was inherited from British colonization, and it is spoken by the majority of the population. It serves as the de facto national language, the language in which government business is carried out. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 80% spoke only English at home and all but approximately 13,600,000 U.S. residents age 5 and over speak English, well, or very well. American English is different from British English in terms of spelling one example being the dropped U in words such as color, color, grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and slang usage. The differences are not usually a barrier to effective communication between an American English and a British English speaker, but there are certainly enough differences to cause occasional misunderstandings, usually surrounding slang or region dialect differences. Some states, like California, have amended their constitutions to make English the only official language, but in practice, this only means that official government documents must at least be in English, and does not mean that they should be exclusively available only in English. For example, the standard California Class C driver's license examination is available in 32 different languages. Topic: <inaudible> Spanish. Spanish was also inherited from colonization and is sanctioned as official in the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Spanish is also taught in various regions as a second language, especially in areas with large Hispanic populations such as the southwestern United States along the border with Mexico, as well as Florida, parts of California, the District of Columbia, Illinois, New Jersey, and New York. In Hispanic communities across the country, bilingual signs in both Spanish and English may be quite common. Furthermore, numerous neighborhoods exist such as Washington Heights in New York City or Little Havana in Miami in which entire city blocks will have only Spanish language signs and Spanish speaking people. In addition to Spanish speaking Hispanic populations, younger generations of non-Hispanics in the United States seem to be learning Spanish in larger numbers due to the growing Hispanic population and increasing popularity of Latin American movies and music performed in the Spanish language. A 2009 American Community Survey conducted by the United States Census Bureau, showed that Spanish is the primary language spoken at home by over 35 million people aged 5 or older, making the United States the world's fifth-largest Spanish-speaking community, outnumbered only by Mexico, Colombia, Spain, and Argentina. In northern New Mexico and southern Colorado, Spanish speakers have been isolated for centuries in the southern Rockies, and developed a distinct dialect of Spanish spoken nowhere else, New Mexican Spanish. Spanish. The dialect features a mix of Castilian, Galician and, more recently, Mexican Spanish, as well as Pueblo loan words. New Mexican Spanish also contains a large proportion of English loan words, particularly for technological words e.g. boss, troca, and telephone. Speakers of New Mexican Spanish are mainly descendants of Spanish colonists who arrived in New Mexico in the 16th through the 18th centuries. During this time, contact with the rest of Spanish America was limited, and New Mexican Spanish developed on its own course. In the meantime, Spanish colonists coexisted with and intermarried with Puebloan peoples and Navajos. After the Mexican-American War, New Mexico and all its inhabitants came under the governance of the English-speaking United States, and for the next hundred years, English speakers increased in number. Spanglish is a code-switching variant of Spanish and English and is spoken in areas with large bilingual populations of Spanish and English speakers, such as along the Mexico-United States border California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, Florida, and New York City. Chinese 
The population of Chinese speakers was increasing rapidly in the 20th century because the number of Chinese immigrants increased at a rate more than 50% since 1940. 2.8 million Americans speak some variety of Chinese, which combined are counted by the federal census as the third most spoken language in the country. Until the late 20th century, Yu dialects including Taishanese and Cantonese were the most common among immigrants or the descendants of immigrants, especially in California. Since the opening of the People's Republic of China, Mandarin, the official language in PRC and Republic of China Taiwan, has become increasingly prevalent. Many Americans of all ethnic backgrounds are also learning Mandarin and to a far lesser extent Cantonese. In New York City in 2002, Mandarin was spoken as a native language among only 10% of Chinese speakers but was predicted to replace Cantonese as the lingua franca among Chinese speakers. Topic: <laughs> Tagalog Tagalog speakers were already present in the United States as early as the late 16th century as sailors contracted by the Spanish colonial government. In the 18th century, they established settlements in Louisiana, such as St. Malo. After the American annexation of the Philippines, the number of Tagalog speakers steadily increased, as Filipinos began to migrate to the U.S. as students or contract laborers. Their numbers, however, decreased upon Philippine independence, as some Filipinos were repatriated. Today, Tagalog, together with its standardized form Filipino, is spoken by over a million and a half Filipino Americans and is promoted by Filipino American civic organizations and Philippine consulates. As Filipinos are the second largest Asian ethnic group in the United States, Tagalog is the second most spoken Asian language in the country. Taglish, a form of code switching between Tagalog and English, is also spoken by a number of Filipino Americans. Tagalog is also taught at some universities where a significant number of Filipinos exist. As it is the national and most spoken language of the Philippines, most Filipinos in the United States are proficient in Tagalog in addition to their local regional language. Vietnamese <inaudible> 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 According to the 2010 census, there are over 1.5 million Americans who identify themselves as Vietnamese in origin, ranking fourth among the Asian American groups and forming the largest overseas Vietnamese population. Orange County, California, is home to the largest concentration of ethnic Vietnamese outside Vietnam, especially in its Little Saigon area. Other significant Vietnamese communities are found in the metropolitan areas of San Jose, Houston, Seattle, Northern Virginia, and New Orleans. Similarly to other overseas Vietnamese communities in Western countries except France, the Vietnamese population in the United States was established following the fall of Saigon in 1975 and communist takeover of South Vietnam following the Vietnam War. Topic. Korean. Speakers of Korean are found in the Koreatowns. Topic: <inaudible> French. French, the fourth most common language, when all varieties of Chinese are combined and separate yet related languages such as Haitian Creole are counted as French, is spoken mainly by the Louisiana Creole, native French, Cajun, Haitian, and French Canadian populations. It is widely spoken in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and in Louisiana, with notable Francophone enclaves in St. Clare County, Michigan, many rural areas of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and the northern San Francisco Bay Area. Three varieties of French developed within what is now the United States in colonial times, Louisiana French, Missouri French, and New England French essentially a variant of Canadian French. French is the second language in the states of Louisiana where the French dialect of Cajun predominates and Maine. The largest French-speaking communities in the United States reside in Northeast Maine, Hollywood and Miami, Florida, New York City, certain areas of rural Louisiana, and small minorities in Vermont and New Hampshire. Many of the New England communities are connected to the dialect found across the border in Quebec or New Brunswick. More than 13 million Americans possess primary French heritage, but only 2 million speak French or a French Creole language at home. German 
German was a widely spoken language in some of the colonies, especially Pennsylvania, where a number of German-speaking Protestants and other religious minorities settled to escape persecution in Europe. Another wave of settlement occurred when Germans fleeing the failure of 19th-century German revolutions emigrated to the United States. A large number of these German immigrants settled in the urban areas, with neighborhoods in many cities being German-speaking and numerous local German-language newspapers and periodicals established. German farmers also took up farming around the country, including the Texas Hill Country, at this time. The language was widely spoken until the United States entered World War I. In the early 20th century, German was the most widely studied foreign language in the United States, and prior to World War I, more than 6% of American schoolchildren received their primary education exclusively in German, though some of these Germans came from areas outside of Germany proper. Currently, more than 49 million Americans claim German ancestry, the largest self-described ethnic group in the U.S., but less than 4% of them speak a language other than English at home, according to the 2005 American Community Survey. The Amish speak a dialect of German known as Pennsylvania German. One reason for this decline of German language was the perception during both world wars that speaking the language of the enemy was unpatriotic. Foreign language instruction was banned in places during the First World War. Unlike earlier waves, they were more concentrated in cities and integrated quickly. Another reason for the decline in German was the lack of first-generation immigrants, as immigration to the United States from Western Europe slowed following the World Wars. There is a myth known as the Muhlenberg vote that German was to be the official language of the U.S., but this is inaccurate and based on a failed early attempt to have government documents translated into German. The myth also extends to German being the second official language of Pennsylvania, however, Pennsylvania has no official language. Although more than 49 million Americans claim they have German ancestors, only 1.24 million Americans speak German at home. Many of these people are either Amish and Mennonites or Germans having newly immigrated e.g. for professional reasons. Hindustani. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hindi is an Indo-Aryan language, deriving its base primarily from the Kariboli dialect of Delhi. The language incorporates a large amount of vocabulary from Sanskrit, Persian and Arabic. It is a pluricentric language, with two official forms, Modern Standard Hindi and Modern Standard Urdu, which are its standardized registers. The colloquial registers are mostly indistinguishable, and even though the official standards are nearly identical in grammar, they differ in literary conventions and in academic and technical vocabulary, with Urdu adopting stronger Persian and Arabic influences, and Hindi relying more heavily on Sanskrit. Before the partition of the British Indian Empire, the terms Hindustani, Urdu, and Hindi were synonymous, all covered what would be mostly called Urdu and Hindi today. The term Hindustani is still used for the colloquial language and the lingua franca of North India and Pakistan, for example for the language of Bollywood films, as well as for several quite different varieties of Hindi spoken outside the Indian subcontinent, such as Fiji Hindi of Fiji and the Caribbean Hindustani of Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, and the rest of the Caribbean. Hindustani is also spoken by a small number of people in Mauritius and South Africa. Hindustani is the third most spoken language in the world, after Mandarin and English. Topic: <inaudible> Arabic. Varieties of Arabic are spoken by immigrants from the Middle East as well as many Muslim Americans. The highest concentrations of native Arabic speakers reside in heavily urban areas like Chicago, New York City, and Los Angeles. Detroit and the surrounding areas of Michigan boast a significant Arabic-speaking population including many Arab Christians of Lebanese, Syrian, and Palestinian descent. Arabic is used for religious purposes by Muslim Americans and by some Arab Christians notably Catholics of the Melkite and Maronite churches as well as Rum Orthodox, i.e. Antiochian Orthodox Christians and Coptic churches. A significant number of educated Arab professionals who immigrate often already know English quite well, as it is widely used in the Middle East. Lebanese immigrants also have a broader understanding of French as do many Arabic-speaking immigrants from North Africa. <laughs> Cherokee Cherokee is the Iroquoian language spoken by the Cherokee people, and the official language of the Cherokee Nation. 
Significant numbers of Cherokee speakers of all ages still populate the Kuala boundary in Cherokee, North Carolina, and several counties within the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma, significantly Cherokee, Sequoia, Mays, Adair, and Delaware. Increasing numbers of Cherokee youth are renewing interest in the traditions, history, and language of their ancestors. Cherokee speaking communities stand at the forefront of language preservation, and at local schools, all lessons are taught in Cherokee and thus it serves as the medium of instruction from preschool on up. Also, church services and traditional ceremonial stomp Dances are held in the language in Oklahoma and on the Kuala boundary in North Carolina. Cherokee is one of the few, or perhaps the only, Native American language with an increasing population of speakers, and along with Navajo, it is the only indigenous language with more than 50,000 speakers, a figure most likely achieved through the tribe's 10 year long language preservation plan involving growing new speakers through immersion schools for children, developing new words for modern phrases, teaching the language to non Cherokee in schools and universities fostering the language among young adults so their children can use that language at home, developing iPhone and iPad apps for language education, the development of language radio stations including Cherokee Voices, Cherokee Sounds, and promoting the writing system through public signage, products like Apple Inc., Internet use through Google including Gmail, and others so the language remains relevant in the 21st century. Italian. The Italian language and its various dialects have been widely spoken in the United States for more than 100 years, primarily due to large-scale immigration from the late 19th century to the mid-20th century. In addition to standard Italian learned by most people today, there has been a strong representation of the dialects and languages of southern Italy amongst the immigrant population Sicilian and Neapolitan in particular. As of 2009, though 15,638,348 American citizens report themselves as Italian Americans, only 753,992 of these report speaking the Italian language at home 0.3264% of the U.S. population. <laughs> Dutch There has been a Dutch presence in America since 1602 when the government of the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands chartered the Dutch East India Company with the mission of exploring for a passage to the Indies and claiming any uncharted territories for the Dutch Republic. In 1664, English troops under the command of the Duke of York later James II of England attacked the new Netherland colony. Being greatly outnumbered, Director General Peter Stuyvesant surrendered New Amsterdam, with Fort Orange following soon. New Amsterdam was renamed New York, Fort Orange was renamed Fort Albany. Dutch city names can still be found in New York's neighborhoods. Harlem is Harlem, Staten Island is Staten Island and Brooklyn refers to Brookellen. Dutch was still spoken in many parts of New York at the time of the Revolution. For example, Alexander Hamilton's wife Eliza Hamilton attended a Dutch language church during their marriage. African American abolitionist and women's rights activist Sojourner Truth, born Isabella Baumfrey, was a native speaker of Dutch. Martin Van Buren, the first president born in the United States following its independence, spoke Dutch as his native language, making him the only president whose first language was not English. In a 1990 demographic consensus, 3% of surveyed citizens claimed descent from Dutch settlers. Modern estimates place the Dutch American population at 5 million, lagging just a bit behind Scottish Americans and Swedish Americans. Notable Dutch Americans include the Roosevelts Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and Eleanor Roosevelt, Marlon Brando, Thomas Alva Edison, Martin Van Buren and the Vanderbilts. The Roosevelts are direct descendants of Dutch settlers of the New Netherland colony in the 17th century. Around 136,000 people in the United States still speak the Dutch language at home today. They are concentrated mainly in California 23,500, Florida 10,900, Pennsylvania 9,900, Ohio 9,600, New York 8,700 and Michigan 6,600, i.e. almost entirely in the city of Holland. A vernacular dialect of Dutch, known as Jersey Dutch was spoken by a significant number of people in the New Jersey area between the start of the 17th century to the mid-20th century. 
With the beginning of the 20th century, usage of the language became restricted to internal family circles, with an ever-growing number of people abandoning the language in favor of English. It suffered gradual decline throughout the 20th century, and it ultimately dissipated from casual usage. Topic. Finnish The first Finnish settlers in America were amongst the settlers who came from Sweden and Finland to the new Sweden colony. Most colonists were Finnish. However, the Finnish language was not preserved as well among subsequent generations as Swedish. Between the 1890s and the outbreak of the First World War, an estimated quarter million Finnish citizens immigrated to the United States, mainly in rural areas of the Midwest and more specifically in the mining regions of northeastern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin and Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Hancock, Michigan, as of 2005, still incorporates bilingual street signs written in both English and Finnish. Americans of Finnish origin yield at 800,000 individuals, though only 26,000 speak the language at home. There is a distinctive dialect of English to be found in the Upper Peninsula, known as Uper. Uper often has a Finnish cadence and uses Finnish sentence structure with modified English, German, Swedish, Norwegian, and Finnish vocabulary. Notable Finnish Americans include U.S. Communist Party leader Gus Hall, film director Rennie Harlan, and the Canadian-born actress Pamela Anderson. Northern Clark County, Washington encompassing Yakult, Amboy, Battle Ground and Chilachi contains a large exclave of old apostolic Lutherans who originally immigrated from Finland. Many families in this portion of the county speak fluent Finnish at home before learning English. Another noteworthy Finnish community in the United States is found in Lake Worth, Florida, north of Miami. Topic: <inaudible> Russian. The Russian language is spoken in areas of some states including New York, California, Washington, New Jersey, Illinois, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Alaska. It is especially spoken in immigrant neighborhoods of some cities, New York City, Boston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Chicago, Seattle, Spokane, Miami, Vancouver, Washington, Portland, Oregon, and Woodburn, Oregon. The Russian-American company used to own Alaska territory until selling it after the Crimean War. Russian had always been limited, especially after the assassination of the Romanov dynasty of Tsars. Starting in the 1970s and continuing until the mid-1990s, many people from the Soviet Union and later its constituent republics such as Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and Uzbekistan have immigrated to the United States, increasing the language's usage in America. The largest Russian-speaking neighborhoods in the United States are found in Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island in New York City specifically the Brighton Beach area of Brooklyn, parts of Los Angeles, particularly West Los Angeles and West Hollywood, parts of Philadelphia, particularly the far northeast, and parts of Miami like Sunny Isles Beach. In Nikolaevosk, Alaska, 66.57% of the population speaks Russian at home. Slavic Voice of America Media Group serves Russian speaking Americans out of Dallas. Topic. Hebrew Modern Hebrew is used by some immigrants from Israel and Eastern Europe. Liturgical Hebrew is used as a religious or liturgical language by many of the United States approximately 7 million Jews. Topic: <inaudible> Ilocano. Like the Tagalogs, the Ilocanos are an Austronesian stock which came from the Philippines. They were the first Filipinos to migrate en masse to the United States. They first entered the state of Hawaii and worked there in the vast plantations. As they did in the Philippine provinces of northern Luzon and Mindanao, they quickly gained importance in the areas where they settled. Thus, the state of Hawaii became no less different from the Philippines in terms of percentage of Ilocano speakers. Like Tagalog, Ilocano is also being taught in universities where most of the Filipinos reside. Topic. South Asian languages There are many South Asians in the United States. These include Indians, Pakistanis, and Bangladeshis, who speak various South Asian languages. 
Major South Asian languages spoken in the U.S. include Telugu see paragraph on Telugu below, Malayalam, Kannada, Tamil, Gujarati, Hindi, Urdu, Bengali, Punjabi, Sinhala, Nepali, and Marathi. Topic Tamil The Tamil community in the United States is largely bilingual. Tamil is taught in weekly classes in many Hindu temples and by associations such as the American Tamil Academy in South Brunswick, Tamil Jersey School in Jersey City, New Jersey. The written form of the language is highly formal and quite distinct from the spoken form. A few universities, such as the University of Chicago and the University of California Berkeley, have graduate programs in the language. In the second half of the 20th century, Tamils from India migrated as skilled professionals to the United States, Canada, Europe, and Southeast Asia. The Tamil American population numbers over 195,685 individuals, and the Federation of Tamil Sangams of North America functions as an umbrella organization for the growing community. The New York City and Los Angeles metropolitan areas are home to the largest concentrations of Tamil speaking Sri Lankan Americans. New York City's Staten Island alone is estimated to be home to more than 5,000 Sri Lankan Americans, one of the largest Sri Lankan populations outside Sri Lanka itself, and a significant proportion of whom speak Tamil. Central New Jersey is home to the largest population concentration of Tamils. New Jersey houses its own Tamil Sangam. Sizable populations of Indian American Tamils have also settled in New York City and the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, as well as on the West Coast in Silicon Valley, where there are Tamil associations such as the Bay Area Tamil Mandram. The New York City and Los Angeles metropolitan areas are home to the largest concentrations of Tamil speaking Sri Lankan Americans, with New York City's Staten Island alone estimated to be home to more than 5,000 Sri Lankan Americans, one of the largest Sri Lankan populations outside Sri Lanka itself, and a significant proportion of whom speak Tamil. Topic Telugu In the second half of the 20th century, Telugu people from India migrated as professionals to the United States, Canada, Europe, and Southeast Asia. The Telugu American population enumerates over 886,988 individuals, and the Federation of Telugu Sangams of North America functions as a Nada and Tana organizations for the growing community. Central New Jersey is home to the largest population concentration of Telugu people. Telugu people have also settled in New York City and the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, as well as on the West Coast in Silicon Valley, where there are Telugu associations such as Tana, Ata and Nada. The New York City and Los Angeles metropolitan areas are home to the largest concentrations of Telugu speakers. Topic Irish About 40 million Americans have Irish ancestry, many of whose ancestors would have spoken Irish. According to the 2007 American Community Survey, 22,279 people speak Irish at home. As of 2008 it was the 76th most spoken language in the USA. Topic Khmer Cambodian Between 1981 and 1985 about 150,000 Cambodians resettled in the United States. Before 1975 very few Cambodians came to the United States. Those who did were children of upper-class families sent abroad to attend school. After the fall of Phnom Penh to the communist Khmer Rouge in 1975, some Cambodians managed to escape. In 2007 the American Community Survey reported that there were approximately 200,000 Cambodians living in the United States, making up about 2% of the Asian population. This population is, however, heavily concentrated in two areas, the Los Angeles metropolitan area in California, especially the city of Long Beach, and Greater Boston in New England, especially Lowell, Massachusetts. These two areas hold a majority of the Cambodians living in the U.S. Topic. Polish The Polish language is very common in the Chicago metropolitan area. Chicago's third largest white ethnic groups are those of Polish descent, after German and Irish. The Polish people and the Polish language in Chicago were very prevalent in the early years of the city, and today the 650,000 Poles in Chicago make up one of the largest ethnically Polish populations in the world, comparable to the city of Wrocław, the fourth largest city in Poland. That makes it one of the most important centers of Polonia and the Polish language in the United States, a fact that the city celebrates every Labor Day weekend at the Taste of Polonia Festival in Jefferson Park. Portuguese 
The first Portuguese speakers in America were Portuguese Jews who had fled the Portuguese Inquisition. They spoke Judeo-Portuguese and founded the earliest Jewish communities in the Thirteen Colonies, two of which still exist, Congregation Shirath Israel in New York and Congregation Mikveh Israel in Philadelphia. However, by the end of the 18th century, their use of Portuguese had been replaced by English. In the late 19th century, many Portuguese, mainly Azorians, Madeirans and Cape Verdeans who prior to independence in 1975 were Portuguese citizens, immigrated to the United States, settling in cities like Providence, Rhode Island, New Bedford, Massachusetts, and Santa Cruz, California. There was also a substantial Portuguese immigration to Hawaii, which at the time was not yet part of the United States. In the mid-late 20th century there was another wave of Portuguese immigration to the U.S., mainly the Northeast New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and for a time Portuguese became a major language in Newark, New Jersey. Many Portuguese Americans may include descendants of Portuguese settlers born in Portuguese Africa known as Portuguese Africans, or, in Portugal, as retornados and Asia mostly Macau. There were around 1 million Portuguese Americans in the United States by the year 2000. Portuguese European Portuguese has been spoken in the United States by small communities of immigrants, mainly in the metropolitan New York City area, like Newark, New Jersey. The Portuguese language is also spoken widely by Brazilian Americans, concentrated in Miami, New York City, and Boston. Topic. Swedish. There has been a Swedish presence in America since the new Sweden colony came into existence in March 1638. Widespread diaspora of Swedish immigration did not occur until the latter half of the 19th century, bringing in a total of a million Swedes. No other country had a higher percentage of its people leave for the United States except Ireland and Norway. At the beginning of the 20th century, Minnesota had the highest ethnic Swedish population in the world after the city of Stockholm. 3.7% of U.S. residents claim descent from Scandinavian ancestors, amounting to roughly 11 to 12 million people. According to SIL's Ethnologue, over half a million ethnic Swedes still speak the language, though according to the 2007 American Community Survey only 56,715 speak it at home. Cultural assimilation has contributed to the gradual and steady decline of the language in the U.S. After the independence of the U.S. from the Kingdom of Great Britain, the government encouraged colonists to adopt the English language as a common medium of communication, and in some cases, imposed it upon them. Subsequent generations of Swedish Americans received education in English and spoke it as their first language. Lutheran churches scattered across the Midwest started abandoning Swedish in favor of English as their language of worship. Swedish newspapers and publications alike slowly faded away. There are sizable Swedish communities in Minnesota, Ohio, Maryland, Philadelphia, and Delaware, along with small isolated pockets in Pennsylvania, San Francisco, Fort Lauderdale, and New York. Chicago once contained a large Swedish enclave called Andersonville on the city's north side. John Morton, the person who cast the decisive vote leading to Pennsylvania's support for the United States Declaration of Independence, was of Finnish descent. Finland was part of the Kingdom of Sweden in the 18th century. Topic. Welsh Up to two million Americans are thought to have Welsh ancestry. However, there is very little Welsh being used commonly in the USA. According to the 2007 American Community Survey, 2,285 people speak Welsh at home, primarily spoken in California 415, Florida 225, New York 204, Ohio 135, and New Jersey 130. Some place names, such as Bryn Mawr in Chicago and Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania English, Big Hill are Welsh. Several towns in Pennsylvania, mostly in the Welsh tract, have Welsh namesakes, including UW Clon, Bala Kinwid, Gwynedd, and Tredyffrin. Yiddish Yiddish has a much longer history in the United States than Hebrew. It has been present since at least the late 19th century and continues to have roughly 148,000 speakers as of the 2009 American Community Survey. 
Though they came from varying geographic backgrounds and nuanced approaches to worship, immigrant Jews of Eastern Europe and Russia were often united under a common understanding of the Yiddish language once they settled in America, and at one point dozens of publications were available in most East Coast cities. Though it has declined by quite a bit since the end of World War II, it has by no means disappeared. Many Israeli immigrants and expatriates have at least some understanding of the language in addition to Hebrew, and many of the descendants of the great migration of Ashkenazi Jews of the past century pepper their mostly English vocabulary with some loan words. Furthermore, it is a lingua franca among Orthodox Jewry particularly Hasidic Jewry, concentrated in Los Angeles, Miami, and New York. Nepali The first Nepalese to enter the United States were classified as other Asian. Immigration records show that between 1881 and 1890, 1,910 other Asians were admitted to the United States. However, Nepal did not open its borders until 1950, and most Nepalis who left the country during that time went primarily to India to study. Nepalese Americans were first classified as a separate ethnic group in 1974 when 56 Nepalese immigrated to the United States. New York City, Boston, Chicago, Denver, Gainesville, Florida, Portland, Oregon and St. Paul, Minnesota have the largest number of Nepalese. There are some Nepalese community or cultural events in every American state, including Deshane, Tihar, Losar, Holi, Tej Special, and Nepali New Year. New American languages, dialects, and creoles Several languages have developed on American soil, including creoles and sign languages. African American English Often simply called AAE and known in North America as Black English, is a variety of American English along a continuum, spoken primarily by urban working class and largely by dialectal and codeswitching middle class African Americans. It is generally accepted among linguists and many African Americans that Southern American English is closely related to AAE because AAE is part of a historical continuum between Creoles such as Gullah and Southern American English. Some educators view AAE as exerting a negative influence on the learning of Standard English, as AAE differs grammatically from Standard English. Other educators, however, propose that Standard English should be taught as a second dialect in educational contexts where AAE is a strong part of students' culture. Chinook Wawa or Chinook jargon A Creole language of 700 to 800 words of French, English, Cree and other native origins. It is the old trade language of the Pacific Northwest. It was used extensively among both European and native peoples of the Oregon Territory, even used instead of English at home by many pioneer families. It is estimated that around 100,000 people spoke it at its peak, between 1858 and 1900, and it was last widely used in Seattle just before World War II. Topic. Gullah An English African Creole language spoken on the Sea Islands of South Carolina and Georgia, retains strong influences of West African languages. The language is sometimes referred to as Gichi. Topic. Hawaii Creole English Commonly used by locals and is considered an unofficial language of the state. Topic. Louisiana Creole French A French Creole language spoken by the Louisiana Creole people of the state of Louisiana, close to Haitian Creole, Colonial French, and Cajun French language of Acadians deported from New France after 1755 and the Grand Derangement. French Creole languages are spoken by millions of people worldwide, mainly in the United States, Caribbean, and Indian Ocean areas. Topic. Outer Banks languages In the islands of the Outer Banks off North Carolina, several unique English dialects have developed. This is evident on Harker's Island and Ocracoke Island. These dialects are sometimes referred to as high tider. 
Topic: <laughs> Pennsylvania German. A language that traditionally was spoken mainly in Pennsylvania, but that since the 19th century has spread to the Midwest, Ohio, Indiana, Iowa and other states where the majority of speakers live today. It evolved from the German dialect of the Palatinate brought over to America by the Pennsylvania Dutch people before 1800. Originally spoken by adherents of different Christian denominations Lutherans, Mennonites, Amish, German Baptist Brethren, Catholics today it is mainly spoken by Amish and Old Order Mennonites. Texas Silesian A dialect of Silesian used by Texas Silesians in American settlements from 1852 to the present. Chesapeake Bay Islander Another dialectal isolate is that spoken on Tangier Island, Virginia and Smith Island, Maryland, both located toward the southern end of the Chesapeake Bay. The dialect is partially derived from English as spoken by English pre-revolutionary settlers, and partially from the present-day Middle Atlantic American dialect of English. It also contains some words from the Cornish language, the Celtic language spoken in Cornwall in southwest England. Topic: <laughs> Chicano English. An English dialect spoken mainly by Mexican Americans in the southwestern United States with influences from Spanish. Topic: <laughs> Romani. Anglo-Romani is a Creole English language spoken by Romani Americans. Sign languages Alongside the numerous and varied oral languages, the United States also boasts several sign languages. Historically, the U.S. was home to some six or more sign languages that number rising with the probability that plain sign talk is actually a language family with several languages under its umbrella which has fallen with the death of several of these. As with all sign languages around the world that developed organically, these are full languages distinct from any oral language. American Sign Language unlike signed English, is not a derivation of English. Some languages present here were trade pigeons which were used first as a system of communication across national and linguistic boundaries of the Native Americans, however, they have since developed into mature languages as children learned them as a first language. American Sign Language American Sign Language ASL is the native language of a number of deaf and hearing people in America roughly 100,000 to 500,000. While some sources have stated that ASL is the third most frequently used language in the United States, after English and Spanish, recent scholarship has pointed out that most of these estimates are based on numbers conflating deafness with ASL use, and that the last actual study of this in 1972 seems to indicate an upper bound of 500,000 ASL speakers at the time. <laughs> Black American Sign Language Black American Sign Language BASL developed in the southeastern U.S., where separate residential schools were maintained for white and black deaf children. BASL shares much of the same vocabulary and grammatical structure as ASL and is generally considered one of its dialects. <laughs> Hawaii Sign Language Hawaii Sign Language is moribund with only a handful of speakers on Oahu, Lanai, Kauai and possibly Niihau. Some of these speakers may actually be speaking a creolized version of HSL and ASL, however, research is slow going. The language was once called Hawaii Pidgin Sign Language as many people thought it was a derivation of ASL which was discovered to be false and to be a separate language altogether. Topic Plains Sign Talk Once a trade pigeon and the most far-reaching sign language in North America, Plains Sign Talk or Plains Sign Language is now critically endangered with an unknown number of speakers. Topic Navajo Sign Language Navajo Sign Language has been found to be in use in one clan of Navajo, however, whether it is a dialect of Plains Sign Talk or a separate language remains unknown. 
Topic Plateau Sign Language Another trade pidgin that may have become a separate language, Plateau Sign Language replaced Plain Sign Talk in the Columbia Plateau and surrounding regions of British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. It is now extinct. Topic Martha's Vineyard Sign Language Martha's Vineyard Sign Language is now extinct. Along with French Sign Language, it was one of several main contributors to American Sign Language. Topic Henniker Sign Language Henniker Sign Language is now extinct but was once found around the Henniker region of New Hampshire and formed a basis for American Sign Language. Topic Sandy River Valley Sign Language Sandy River Valley Sign Language is now extinct but once could be found around the Sandy River Valley in Maine. It was one of several main contributors to American Sign Language. Topic see also American English Language Education in the United States Language Spoken at Home U.S. Census List of Multilingual Presidents of the United States Mullenberg Legend List of Communities in the United States where English isn't the majority language spoken at home Modern Language Association General, Bilingual Education Culture of the United States Languages of Canada Topic References Topic Bibliography Campbell, Lyle, 1997. American Indian Languages, The Historical Linguistics of Native America. New York, Oxford University Press. Campbell, Lyle, and Mithin, Marianne E. D. S. 1979. The Languages of Native America, Historical and Comparative Assessment. Austin, University of Texas Press. Grimes, Barbara F. Ed. 2000. Ethnologue, Languages of the World, 14th ed. Dallas, Texas, SIL International. ISBN 1-55671-106-9. Online edition, http colon slash slash www.ethnologue.com slash, accessed on December 7, 2004. Mithin, Marianne, 1999. The Languages of Native North America. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Zeta, Ophelia, Hill, Jane H., 1991. The Condition of Native American Languages in the United States. In R. H. Robbins and E. M. Uhlenbeck, eds. Endangered Languages, pp. 135-155. Oxford, Berg. Topic further reading Blatt, Ben. Tagalog in California, Cherokee in Arkansas, Slate. May 13, 2014. Topic external links Bilingualism in the United States Detailed list of languages spoken at home for the population five years and over by state, U.S. Census 2000 Foreign languages in the U.S. About foreign languages and language learning in the United States How many indigenous American languages are spoken in the United States? By how many speakers? Native languages of the Americas Ethnologue report for USA Linguistic map of the United States of America Modern Language Association language map